Hello, I'm Ben Lounsbury. I'm an ear, nose, and throat doctor. In my spare time, I'm a videographer. I made Wax Wax Baby to counteract the epidemic of ear problems that I see as a result of people using cotton swabs in their ear canals. The hearing and balance organs are delicate and wonderful things. Nature put them at the end of a long, narrow canal to protect them from injurious influences like fingers. Nature provides two amazing mechanisms that allow the ear to clean itself. One of them, the mandibular pump, is beautifully illustrated by this lady's chewing. Every time she chews or talks, her jawbone bulges into her ear canal and pushes wax outward. The other natural cleaner is epithelial migration. At the cellular level, microscopic sheets of dead skin are carried outward as if on a conveyor belt of a million little hands. Wax is mostly dead skin. The conveyor belt has increasing capacity as it moves outward. If a cotton swab pushes a large lump of wax deep into the ear canal, where the conveyor belt is weak, it will get stuck. A cotton swab is too large to clean an ear canal. It takes up all the space. It is more of a packer than a cleaner. Great harm can be done. The makers of cotton swabs are aware of this danger and they provide warnings. I wish that everyone would read and heed the warnings. Patients tell me they need to dry their ears after bathing. Not true. Do swimmers dry their ears each time they climb out of the pool? Wiping one's ear canals with cotton swabs is addictive. It generates an itch that needs to be scratched again and again. It is a vicious cycle. If your ear itches, put baby oil or mineral oil in it. I see many different ear problems caused by cotton swabs. The most common is wax impaction causing temporary hearing loss. But I have also seen perforated tympanic membranes, a MRSA infection eroding into the jaw joint, mastoiditis causing brain abscess, and malignant otitis externa that takes months to eradicate. Cotton swabs and ear canals don't mix. If your mother taught you otherwise, she was wrong. If you need further help with your earwax, see your primary care provider.